the highway in the sky. That's what I call this. The way I travel to the majority of the communities in Kiwetna. Five years ago, if someone told me I was going to be an MPP, I wouldn't have believed them. This is not something I ever imagined myself doing. It's a great responsibility to see what I see and to advocate for something better. One of the most important things I do is visit with communities, to talk with people, to better understand what they are going through. Today, I am in the Skanaga First Nation, where the people have been on a boil water advisory for over 26 years. This visit is a little different this time, as the issues in the Skanaga have attracted national attention. I am joined by two MPs who need to see the conditions here for themselves. The federal leader of the NDP, Jagmeet Singh, and MP Charlie Angus. During these visits, I often find myself overwhelmed by hurt and disappointment, especially when listening to the children. I wish I could magically wave a wand and make living conditions better here, but I can't. I'm a 10-year-old child trying, talking for this community to get clean water. There are other communi communities as well who need clean water as well. And here I am, 10-year-old me, trying to uh, talk for other people. Because indigenous people need clean water. If water is life, and access to clean drinking water is a basic human right, what message does it send when it is withheld from the entire community for over 26 years? I want to say the best I can do is to advocate and bring awareness. But after 26 years of no clean drinking water here, where is everyone? What is it going to take for all of us to stand up and support one another? This is not a Niskanaga problem. What is happening here is all of Canada's problem. Action is long overdue. All of Canada is responsible. Everyone has a role to play in addressing the long-term oppression and colonialism that continues to plague our communities. All people, including governments and First Nations organizations, need to speak up and rise up to exercise our will to make a difference. So kids like Brayden and Bidaban don't have to continue to live like this.